Hi everybody, long time no see. Um, yeah, um, first of all I want to figure out or apologize if I seem disorganized. It's been so long since I've read this book. I'm trying to remember everything that I have read. Um, but uh, yeah, um, also it's been mentioned in the comments of how I pronounce her name and I didn't realize I was doing uh, pronouncing it funny. Um, I think it's my accent the way, but yeah. Anyways, I will try to That's always been the way I've said the name. Anyways, on to the review, so to speak. Um, where we left off, if I can remember, she was in the... Let's see... In the afterlife. And she talked a lot with her grandmother mainly um i think what i got to after with a lot of the more of the help from her her grandmother she decided to go back down to earth and try to get her tablet dotted and in the process she ends up um Uh, pretty much in the word clinging to her lover's second wife and she thinks she's doing well and she's helping the both of them um, starting writing through the second wife but the second wife is someone she knows and is a bit spoiled and thinks differently she thinks that Peony is trying to take their husband f from the, her. So, um, what is that? And ultimately, that wife dies after a while because of Peony's obsession with their writing. Uh, this time, or Penny is, Penny is saddened and she wants her lover to be, her their husband to be happy and she ends up pretty much going to a family out in the countryside and raising the third wife in a sense. And... That wife, although very, very young, I mean, she was a baby, only a baby when Penny was alive. Um, that wife understands what Penny is trying to do and this story is mainly about the three wives but it's more narrated toward, through Penny. You f was for, more focused on Penny. Um, all in all, I did like the book. I really did. I really, really enjoyed it. It was one of those for me that while I enjoyed it, it was a little... Uh, it was harder to read quickly. I read it, put it down for quite a while, then pick it up again. So it took me a while to finish it. Um, but then again, I, what I was dealing with, with the moving and everything. So, but yeah, really like it. Definitely check Peony in Love. And so there's that. Um, um, sorry, uh, 
So I guess we'll just go on for the next book, which is from the same author, and is one that I had been looking forward to reading. I mean, this is this is the, ultimately the book that drew me to the author herself. We would go to Barnes and Noble, and it just kept popping up. I kept seeing it, and just wanted to check it out. So it is. Shanghai Girls. Okay. And it's about these two sisters that have lived. Here, I'll just read the back. I mean, that's pretty much what I'm doing. It says In 1937, Shanghai, the Paris of Asia, 21 year old Pearl Chin and her younger sister May are having the time of their lives. Both are beautiful, modern, and carefree, until the day their father tells them that he has gambled away their wealth and that to repay his debts, debts, sorry, he must sell the girls as wives to suitors who have traveled from Los Angeles to find Chinese brides. As Japanese bombs fall on their beloved city, Pearl and May set out to set out on the journey of a lifetime. From the Chinese countryside to the shores of America, though inseparable best friends, the sisters also harbor petty jealousies and rivalries. Along the way, they make terrible sacrifices, face impossible choices, and confront a devastating, life-changing secret. But through it all, the two heroines of this astounding new novel hold fast to who they are, Shanghai girls. Yeah, very excited to read that. So I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.